Howdy. Today we will be doing an overview of dev stream number 182. There's some really spicy stuff in here. Really, really spicy stuff. So we're going to jump right into it. Now, we did get this teaser for Zaku Prime, which is really snazzy. I'm not going to watch it here if you want to. I suggest looking up. It's pretty cool, but we'll you'll see it once we go down. Now, unfortunately, Mike... Brennan, a very, very amazing individual, one of the original people at Digital Extremes. He was the first lead uh, graphic designer, I believe, or like artist at Digital Extremes. Hopefully I'm not like butchering the titles wherever I'm really bad at that sort of stuff. He unfortunately passed away, which is really sad because he made some really, really cool stuff. He's the one that came up with the concepts for Excalibur Prime, Valkyr, the Tenno... The Kuva Queens, he's the one that made this sister right here. I love her. All sorts of other cool stuff. It's not shown here, but he's also the one that came up with the concept for the Rhino Heirloom skin that's going to be coming out next year. So that one looks pretty cool. It's really unfortunate that he died, but there's not much we can do about it. Sad face. That's a... Everyone give a, a moment of silence for the big poppy Michael Brennan. Now, on to other stuff. Housekeeping. Uh, we don't really care about that. Zaku Prime Access here. Here's what we care about. Quasis Prime. Yes, this. This is something I'm eager to look forward to. It is Zaku's signature melee, and it's a little, like, fan blade, just like the Gunson, except it shoots ethereal daggers out of it. Very snazzy. We're also getting Trumna Prime, which is gonna destroy the game get ready to see some trumna ribbons for sale for like five quadrillion platinum there's a decent sign on i think that's fairly cool we get like an operator suit which looks really good if you ask me that trench coat oh my god this is a really good operator suit and saku prime himself looks godlike he looks like a necromech merged with a power ranger he's awesome very excited to get Zaku. He comes out November something. I think it's like November 15th. Uh, November 13th. There it is. So get ready for Zaku. All sorts of other stuff that comes out with Warframe 1999. Right There's going to be a new world. New syndicate. The new traversal vehicle which is the motorcycle. Two new factions. A new mission type which is endless capture. Very interesting. New Warframe with Site, site however you say that, Site 09. Six Protoframe skins and Gemini emotes. New adversaries, the Techno Site Coda, which are basically infested liches. New 1999 themed cosmetics and more. World of Hulvania. Very, very cool looking. We'll just skim over this. This is all awesome looking, but not the main thing we're here for. Now we have the new adversaries, Technocyte Coda. It is the boy band that does the music in 1999, turned into infested liches. That is awesome. Look at that. That is so freaking cool. I love that. They do not use Requiem mods, but instead must defeat it with the use of antivirus software. So you don't have to worry about getting Requiem mods for these guys specifically, which is good or bad depending on how the antivirus software works. I don't know exactly. I didn't watch the whole stream. Each adversary comes with a guaranteed cosmetic. Not necessarily ephemeras though, but there's also flus and posters and other sort of stuff. Instead of receiving a randomized weapon, killing your Coda will reward you tokens to exchange at a vendor, similar to Ergo Glast. So you just farm these guys and then buy the weapon you want of whichever weapon you want from the vendor. So that's pretty cool. I like that. The Technocyte Coda weapons. Here's what we're really, really here for. This is spicy. There are, I think, 13 weapons. First, starting at the bottom... There are three unique Technocyte weapons, so the ones that are only the Technocyte weapons, like how, you know, there's Tenet weapons that only have the Tenet variant, or Kuva weapons that only have the Kuva variant, like Kuva Shield Egg. But, not counting the three new ones that we, I, it doesn't say what they are here, other than one of them is a Pizza Cutter. That's funny sounding. The other ones are Hemo. 
Oh. Sorry, I just busted one because they finally are giving me an upgraded version of Hema. This was my baby back in the day, dude. Hema's my baby. It has viral on the weapon inherently. That's going to be cracked. Viral on the weapon, and you're going to be able to get a magnetic progenitor for both viral and magnetic at base on the weapon? Are you kidding me right now? Spirothrix. I'm sorry, what? Spirothrix is already ridiculously strong and now you won't have to farm the crap out of stupid deimos bounties in the vault to get it the better version will be available from doing these guys instead synapse amazing a beam weapon that's been left in the dust it has no aoe but a third crit and base corrosive again insane you could go like corrosive magnetic that's wow Catabolist. Just like Sprothix, these both actually have some pretty spicy augments. That is going to be really cool. Pox. I knew Pox was going to get a version of it in the future. I knew it. I have been waiting ages for that. It's a like a thrown explosive infested secondary. Very excited for that. Tysis is a pretty cool weird arm cannon thing secondary. Uh, it's interesting. It sucks right now, but I'm excited to see what they do with it with the upgrade version cost assist a melee that has corrosive on the weapon at base again a lot of these like weapons have a either corrosive or viral at base which is really really strong hyrudo which steals health from enemies and i think it might have viral at base as well another very strong weapon it's a fist melee mire which is a sword melee i think it has viral at base as well path assist which is a glaive type weapon that also has base viral and it creates infested maggots on explosions. These are all extremely fancy looking things. Like when we get these weapons, these are going to be some spicy weapons. I'm really excited to farm and use all of these. All of them look fun and cool. Then here's some art of the online boy band that gets turned into the infested stuff. You know, got some weird k-pop dude we got this person right here chilling with their hair why does it it looks like someone to me i don't know it kind of looks like if ikora was emo if you know who ikora from destiny is if ikora had hair and was emo and was a dude i guess um because yeah, i'm pretty sure this is boy band right these are all dudes this dude right here who's an absolute pretty boy he looks like he's wants to be a twink but he's too jacked to be a twink this guy who's absolutely railing the twink for sure he's you know got his weird uh, what are these pants? Please make it stop, but also hilarious. And then the actual twink down here, you know, little Asian boy with glasses who gets turned into infested to get clapped skill issue. Onwards. I didn't mean to click on that. Whoopsies. And then we got some like art and stuff. They show off of all of the different ones and how they get converted, right? Which is pretty cool. Especially like this one right here. That one looks really cool. Warframe retouches Trinity. Trinity is getting her light rework, and it's pretty good. The reworks for Nyx and Trinity were both announced. Nyx fans can look for an overview of her changes in the next dev stream, which is in November, but right now we get an overview of Trinity's changes. She gets a new passive. Max health increases for you and all allies within range, scaling based on max energy. Not how much energy she currently has, but how much her max energy is. That is really spicy. Um, not for like end game stuff, but uh, if you don't do endurance runs, that's going to be a really, really good thing for support. Well of Life can now be cast while moving. That's huge. Increased duration, also huge. Can be cast up to three enemies instead of one. Massive. And most importantly, if Trinity or allies die within the range of the well, the death is negated completely and the well ends. There's a cooldown on the person who was saved, but basically you cheat death if you die within the range of the well of life. That's incredibly strong. Energy Vampire can also be cast while moving now, and positive duration builds will now give additional energy pulses, so you don't have to like be required to go negative duration to actually get good amounts of energy from Energy Vampire. And since negative duration is commonly used to expedite output, this change will allow Energy Vampire to work better with positive duration builds, right? Yeah, we already said that. 
ability three link trinity can now recast link while it is active that's really nice can now be cast while moving and say it with me increased duration all of her abilities get an increased duration i love that because her duration was horrible and not being able to cast while moving was also horrible the number of linked targets now scales with power strength also very massive because having only linked to like three enemies is dumb as hell Fourth ability, Blessing, Increased Duration. So I think that means like the damage re resistance it does. Damage resistance buff is not last upon re... Uh, wait, what? Damage resistance buff is not last upon recast. It's only applied to a few seconds during the start of the recast, but any loss of DR can be killer, literally. I don't know what it means by that. Vampire Leech, the Energy Vampire Augment, and Champion's Blessing Augment are also getting buffs. Proto Frames, Gemini Skins, and Emotes. We're getting skins for all of the proto frames, which is pretty cool. Sight, uh, I don't really care about him. Trinity, the hair is questionable, but uh, she's pretty hot smash. Arthur, absolute smash, bro. Look at this guy. It's literally the OG Excalibur. Mag, definite smash. Volt, he's pretty cool. I like him. Uh, and Nyx, I'm a Nyx main now. Um, she is beaten only by Mommy Hildren, but goth Mommy Nyx is something I didn't know I needed in my life. I need her now. Smash, smash, smash. Uh, you can change the hair color on each Gemini skin. Oh, that's cool. So you can change all of their hair colors using a new hair color tint option in the appearance screen. That's cool. Certain attachments can be removed like Amir's glasses, who is the Volts guy. Um, Gemini skins have custom voice lines for various interactions throughout the game. So that's really cool. Uh, some of them will be waypoints, reloading, jumping onto your motorcycle and all that stuff and then you also get emotes that let you switch between your normal and gemini variants of your warframe that's pretty cool we'll just go ahead and skip past all this oh here's some of the motorcycle stuff it looks pretty cool new drifter and operator cosmetics what we get shorts what oh oh that is oh we like that oh look at that booty oh yeah we like this this is pretty stassy Ooh. Ooh, these are some spicy cosmetics. I approve. Goth Drifter <laughs> is awesome. More Tenogen stuff. Tech Rot enemies, one of the new factions in Warframe 1999. They are infested with a Tech Rot twist. As a result, you may come across foes in Halvania that have similar counterparts in the Origin system. And then they show a bunch of versions of the tech rot enemies. And there's also a new enemy type, right? I think two new unnamed infest enemy, right? This guy right here. And then like some weird bow bow. Interesting, interesting. Other content, caliber chicks too and Ollie's crash course. Oh, uh, what? I don't know what that is. Other tidbits, Axe 52 is returning via a vendor. So if you missed it from watching the live stream for the Tenocon, it will be available now. Very cool. Endless capture game mode involves players hunting down an infested enemy, but every time you defeat him, he evolves and you need to track him down once more. That sounds really cool. As time goes on, new abilities are introduced and stakes escalate. That sounds really, really cool. I like that a lot. We've been collaborating with The Line to create an anime short for Warframe 1999. Here's a background piece from one of the scenes as we wait for its official release. Oh! Cool, we're getting an anime short for Warframe 1999, I approve. And that's it for the dev stream recap or whatever. Or at least like the main stuff that matters. Lots of cool stuff, I'm really excited for Warframe 1999 to come out. It can't be here fast enough, but I mean it's going to be a cool Christmas present, right? Because it comes out in December, I believe. So that's going to be very, very fun. People get to play it in their time off for the holidays. Pretty schnazzy. If you like the video, leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment saying big whoa, these nuts on your chin. And uh, the first person to do that, I'll pin your comment and that I don't know why. I just feel like it. Get clapped. Goodbye. Adios.